watching the Rotoscopers Covers YouTube. I'm Morgan. And I'm Chelsea. And today we are doing another fabulous art book review. This time, it's the art and flair of Mary Blair. So we have done a previous art book review of Mary Blair. This was for the exhibit or the catalog that is at the Walt Disney Family Museum. That is a lovely book, but we Very will... lovely. Yes. So we are going to be doing a comparison video of those two books just right after this review. So be on the lookout. We're going to talk about what we like and what we don't like and which one we would recommend. If both. Or maybe none. No. <laughs> so let's talk about the art and flair of Mary Blair. So this book was previously published. This is a revised edition. Um, there's a little bit more art, a little bit more dialogue. So uh, very good. Very thin for an art book. Uh, it's only about 110 pages, and normally they, they're usually 150, 180 plus. Right. Um, but this is much short, more, more compact. John Kamaker is the author of this book, of both books actually, and he goes in with this one, and it's a lot more biographical. And so he'll talk a lot about, you know, the, how she started out her career, what her influences were then, and how they kind of changed over the years, mm -hmm. and the influences that she had, and then also just some of the back and forth that she had with Walt Disney while she was working there, and a lot of just, I don't know, it felt like I was getting to know her a lot more than I did in the other book. That being said, there still is tons of art. It's not like you just get little teeny snippets of art here and there. You get full page spreads, you get big art, you get small art, so you really, there's some pages where it's just art, 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 and then just a little bit of text, so they really use their space wisely, but you're still able to get a little bit more of an insight into Mary Blair like Chelsea was talking about. I was very fulfilled, you know, in reading this. Like, it didn't feel like it was missing too much. I felt like I got a good comprehensive view of her career and her influences and just kind of outside sources and things that she liked, and then I also got a good amount of her art, so I didn't feel like it was really lacking much of anything. Mm -hmm. You know, as I was looking at a lot of her art, say for like Alice in Wonderland, I didn't understand why her art was a lot darker than, you know, some of her other art pieces, other places, and I was like, why is that? And well, it tells you. Basically, she said that it's because I feel like when the rabbit went down the hole, everything is going to be underground and dark. Yeah. So that's what I saw this world as. And I was like, huh, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that, yeah. And then later on when I went into something like Peter Pan, where there was just so much vibrancy in the color. I mean, Mary Blair is probably the most famous amongst anima animators for her color choices mm -hmm. and her color palette. I loved looking at her Peter Pan drawings, and even into her Cinderella drawings. Those were the big three. Mm -hmm. The big three that every Disney fan is like, ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> all in all, I'm gonna give this book 4.5 out of five stars. It's definitely an own it, you must buy it. Now, if you own the other one, I still think this is worth having because they were able to correct some of the colors that were misprinted in the other edition, and so this really does show like how vibrant these prints and her style was. Um, so if you want complete accuracy, then this is going to be the book for you. But if you already have it, there's really nothing extravagantly different that makes you need to spend the extra money. Alright guys, thanks for watching our review. Let us know in the comments below what is your favorite art piece from Mary Blair or the favorite movie that maybe she worked on. Mm -hmm. And be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe for more amazing art book reviews. Until next time, I'm Morgan. And I'm Chelsea. And you're watching The, the Rotoscopers YouTube. YouTube.